House Speaker Paul Ryan led a congressional delegation to Puerto Rico today to see firsthand the devastation from Hurricane Maria. Ryan said the federal government will be there rebuilding for the long haul, in contrast to President Trump's tweet that Washington can't keep sending help forever. David Begno is following the recovery. Acre after acre of destruction is what Speaker Paul Ryan would have seen as he flew over this island. Hurricane Maria knocked out the entire power grid. Three weeks later, 91% of people are still without electricity. What we've seen here today confirms that this is first and foremost a humanitarian disaster. Ryan's visit comes a day after the House of Representatives passed a $36.5 billion disaster aid package. It includes nearly $5 billion in loans for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Critics say aid was slow to arrive, and there's still not enough. 36% of people do not have clean drinking water, and almost half have no communication. Four deaths from contaminated water has spread fear of a health crisis. President Trump's tweet warning FEMA wouldn't stay here forever has worried people. Today, Ryan tried to reassure them they will get what they need. We want to make sure that when we rebuild power lines, that they can withstand, you know, 150 mile per hour winds like they, they, they received before. Fuel remains one of the biggest problems. Puerto Rico's government says it needs 200,000 gallons of diesel a week to pump water. FEMA is providing only 120,000. Today, Mike Byrne, the newly appointed FEMA coordinator, defended the agency's response. Do I wish it was done faster? Am I applying the resources to get it done faster? You better believe I am, but, but it's going to still take time. FEMA has 1,500 personnel on the ground here, and Byrne says more are on the way. We asked him, how long does FEMA plan to stay on this island? He told us, as long as it takes. Anthony. David Begno in Puerto Rico. Thanks, David.